Hello. Buenos good morning dias. to everyone. Good morning. Buenos good dias. morning. Bonjour, monsieur. You woke good up feeling good, good, huh? You woke up feeling good? Hey, that, that it was uh, a very special night, very emotional. So I try to recoup now. Uh, give me a few words for the family. Obviously, the father should be considered for uh, trainer of the year, right? I mean, he got his daughter a world title and now his son a unified champion. Uh, what do you think comes for the father from this situation? And I mean Sebastian Fondura's father. Yeah, Freddy Fondura, he really deserved to get crowned as the trainer of the year by far because it changed completely uh, the style of what is supposed to be always Fondora. Sebastian, to take the distant job, and, and he won the fight with no issue. Now, there's so many people that they have his own uh, idea of the accidental uh, elbow. But if you see the replay, he didn't move the elbow. Soon it come to the elbow, you know, with the head. So, but anyway, listen, it was a wonderful. The only thing, might as well, uh, I can uh, say something that I was very emotional in the press conference, and I say that the rematch it was verbal. Whoever I want to say this verbal, I will honor. So I forgot that word that I will honor the rematch with uh, this uh, to sue because he deserves it. He's a warrior. We have some kind of misunderstanding before the fight, but uh, I give him all the credit. He deserves it and he deserves a rematch. So that is on the plate. Now, when you say that's in the plate, are you saying that you're changing the direction and it's no longer Earl Spence? Or are you saying after Earl Spence, then you're going to give Zoo the rematch? Uh, I believe in this particular point, uh, after, you know, that you relax, you think about it, I believe the best way will be the rematch. And uh, because it's well deserved. It. Not only, look, Everybody won that night. Both fighters won the heart of the fans. We showed the courage of either one bleeding. The TV, which is prime video, probably the best of the past decade, how competitive it was every fight and how full action was. So I believe the people deserve the rematch. However, I don't know if it you need to go to surgery, uh, Fundora for a nose, probably this uh, in this moment or in a few hours he'll be in a, with the doctors to see that everything is fine. So most likely it will not be any fight for Sebastian uh, till early November. So that is another question that, in that you know, you cannot put it immediately in, in three months or four months back in the gym. And not back in the gym, back in the fight. Because the, Sebastian probably next week he start to move, you know. But uh, depending on the nose. So where does that leave you with the WBO organization who claims to have sent letters to both sides ordering Fundora and Crawford mandatory next? It is claimed you have 20 days to negotiate and 180 days to put on the fight. We received the letter this morning. I wake up this morning and I have it. Uh, we try to save the bell. Uh, the person in charge, uh, it will be Louis de Cuba Jr., who will negotiate with Crawford this officially. Uh, because I'm too emotional and and I will not be think about it because I have uh, in play my my word that I say. It's no contract, signed contract, but for me, my word is much more than the signed contract. And with honor, the rematch goes.
All right. All right. That's now, great news. Great do news. you do you foresee a situation where Louis de Cubas can negotiate something for Crawford to step aside and allow the rematch for both belts while simultaneously giving Crawford potentially a fight? Or, or do you see Fondora having to vacate that belt? Uh, again, I just wake up this morning. <laughs> And I, you know, it's, I, I cannot make a decision. You know, you need to marinate any decision that everybody be happy. But the most important thing was no, nobody lost that night. And I give him the most respect to Zoo. Team, he was unbelievable. Uh, I guarantee you that another champion, not the you know, everyone, he will give up in the second or third round and he say he cannot see. I saw many champions do that. And he be no contest. This guy, he continue till the end, till the last second, try to win that fight. And he never said that he, he was a robbery or he, lost, he won the fight. He said, congratulations to the champ. Only that, he pushed me to say that he deserved the rematch. Beside that, my word, my honor. So you're targeting November for that. Now, in 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 your, I guess, uh, excitement, you said, uh, and I'm paraphrasing here, not quoting you directly, but you said, you know, Crawford has to wait. De David Benavidez is waiting. Crawford can wait like he made others wait. Are you speaking of Jerron Ennis? Uh, I, I would say that uh, the most honorable for Crawford is to fight Ennis. <laughs> that, that is the truth. You know what I mean? And and you have no problem with the weight, but he's looking for money. He wants to fight Canelo for money, a payday. And, and that, you know, I don't know if he will get a payday with Fundora. Because my understanding, he want to be like, uh, and this I I caught, but I don't know if it's true or not. But like, he be a co-promoter because he's a free agent, and that it will not happen. It will not happen that way. But because I'm an emotional person, we make a team the decision that Louis de Cuba, uh, he he will try to negotiate not to lose the title. And I, I didn't ask him how he would negotiate, but he would negotiate with directly with uh, Paco Barcaza, the president of the WBO, and Crawford. So I'm be out completely of the situation. However, regardless, uh, my wish and my honor is to the rematch because I believe that the people he will request that. The fans, he would request a rematch because many people say if it was not for the card, he would lose the fight from Dora, which I don't believe that. You know, because when you're bleeding, like, if, if, like the same way like he was bleeding the Fundora, he gave him more courage to continue and try to win the fight. It's not the handicap. He wants to win the fight. And that is, listen, I believe it's the best card for the past 10 years or more like for pbc right not not in all of boxing right well tell me another uh, show or another event that he was so excited like this one give me one i mean wow the fury i felt was more exciting yeah but he i think cool. he's talking top to bottom right you're talking car top yeah, to bottom sure. or you're saying main event I mean, only i mean no i mean the whole, i mean on, on 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 the wilder it, it, theory, the you undercard. had a unified you had a unified champion on the undercard and and, and jerry no, heard no, the first no one. no, no. I mean, we, the, we're not talking we, excuse me we're not talking about uh, titles now we're talking about the excitement of the whole event from from the first fight to the last fight Everyone, it was competitive, knockout. It was excitement on that show. Speaking of the excitement, in, in that excitement, you said Crawford can't do 90,000. 
Now, obviously, you said you were excited, you you relaxed, and and Louis will negotiate with Crawford. Um, do you see a world where Fundora could fight Crawford in Nebraska, and they can do ninety thousand over there? Because Danny, if you can help me with this uh, hypothetical based on the Nebraska volleyball women's game. Uh, I honestly, I believe that. The, way, the style of Crawford uh, is not likable, like Henny, you know, is about the, the same level, and and he will not sell. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 Samson, he just got so, three knockdowns in a knockout in his last fight, and he's on an 11-fight no, no, knockout streak. No, no, I understand, but it's not, uh, you know, doesn't attract... It's number one in the world, the best fight in the world, but doesn't have the charisma to bring people in, in Vegas or to bring people, you know, you beside mean outside of the ring. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And that and that and I don't believe it will. And besides, it, in all in, in every fight, it demand something that, as a free agent. It demand money that doesn't exist. And how do you, and you want to be how do you know that he demands this money? Because I interviewed um Glenn Field Glenn Jennings, the manager of Tim Zoo, and he also said that in my interview that he heard Crawford wanted fifteen million. And that's something that's he said he heard. But 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 where are we hearing this from and, and how true is it? Because you just I, said I, I it's just correct. Say you, I, I just say to you that this is what I heard. And beside that, in in prior negotiation, he want to be is, you know, is uh, like he want to be a Canelo. Put it that way. He want to be a, a businessman and he want to be a fighter, and that is a big mistake. I mean, but wasn't Floyd Mayweather a businessman and a fighter? I mean, he even I remember for the Pacquiao fight, he negotiated concessions, you know, in the arena. Wow. Uh, no one was more business than Floyd. And fighter. Yeah, but you cannot, you cannot, you cannot compare Mayweather with anybody else. So the only that one true, that Samson. he tried to be a Mayweather is Canelo. Canelo want to be Mayweather and negotiate like Mayweather. This is Mayweather he was, and he is the most smart, clever businessman that I ever saw in my life. Beside everyone else, like. Canelo is very good in other business. I wish Mayweather be in other business the same like Canelo. But in boxing, the smart one is Mayweather, by far. But and so Canelo, we, he want to be his blueprint. That's all. And now it's Crawford he want to be, but Crawford doesn't have the charisma and the following like Canelo or Mayweather. So were you, were you were, were you just like exaggerating on the ninety thousand? Because in three events that Errol's done at Cowboy Stadium, he only has averaged thirty four thousand and some change across those three events. So I just like nobody's came close to doing ninety thousand. Why do you think this is the fight? Because after the performance of uh, of Fundora. I believe that uh, it will help to sell completely that stadium. And by the way, the undercard, it will be crazy too, because we have several locals, uh, uh, fighters that uh, it will sell. And only the expectation to have that kind of uh, six foot six and a half, six foot six or six foot five and a half. Uh, this is is a commodity, you know that that it will sell because the way he is the way he fight. Well, Samson, I am gonna make a case for something you said in the previous interview about having to take care of the finances for your fighter, and and I believe that you're right, specifically in this situation. So I hope that it works out the way you originally said. Only for Fandora, who we see is a very humble guy. He's not a flashy guy. He doesn't, I mean, he definitely doesn't spend money, but we sure, uh, we're not sure that he's made the money in his career that he deserves, especially becoming a unified champion without defending it. He probably hasn't gotten the opportunity to make 
a decent amount where, you know, it's generational wealth. So I can see you trying to get him a big payday. Uh, I believe that uh, fighting in this moment, after, you know, uh, 48 hours, I believe it will make exactly the same or more in the rematch that is to fight Spencer. How about that? So either one, but it will not make the same money with Crawford. That means Samson, my personal Samson, opinion. Man, hold on. That is the reason. Wait, but didn't he take a pay cut? No, 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 no. No, wait, Ness. Yeah, Tim, Tim literally took a pay cure. cut to, to fight Fandora. They did 14,000 fans. You're telling us that Fandora and Spence will do 90,000 because of the... But now it's going to make the same money that the rematch will? No, that they will make the same money fighting uh, Spence with the... Uh, uh, Tim Zoo uh, rematch. Zoo. Right? Yeah, no, I mean Zoo. And now, if he fight Zoo or he fight uh, Crawford, it be equal money now in this moment, because I believe that people he will push to make this happen. The you know the, the rematch. Rematch. You think people yeah. want the rematch with Tim Zoo over the Fundora Crawford fight? Definitely, twice. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. And I think you guys are under. I think you guys are underestimating the the fandom of Crawford. There, there were a lot of no. people upset that Crawford uh, could potentially be skipped after you know petitioning for his mandatory status by Earl Spence. A lot of people were not happy that Earl was in the ring, saying that he would chop Fundora down when he did not do that to you know Crawford. So for some of us, we believe selling us Earl could be difficult because we don't know that he can do it since he didn't do it versus the welterweight in Crawford. It, let, let me put it this way. I guarantee you, this is the reason I walk away from the negotiation. Crawford, you will want to make more money than the champion. And that it will not happen. Mm. And that is a fact. That is the now, reason I now, walk now, away. So, so now, Spence, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Danny, because this is a very similar situation to uh, Shakur Stevens, who was a multiple division champion trying to challenge Devin. And granted, Devin was an undisputed champion, but he was still in that one division. So are you not valuing what Crawford has done before this fight? Meaning he is a two-time undisputed. He is a multiple-time lineal. Does that not make you the A-side? Uh, no, we are the A-side because we are the champion. We want to have the, the super welterweight championship fight. So... We have a champion, and the champion had the rights. And he believed, I'm pretty sure of that, and I spoke with the, with Paco included, that he will want to make more money than the, than the champion. He'd be the challenger making more than the champion. Now, what is and the split? Happen. That's happened. But, but Paco, I mean, uh, Samson, that's happened in the past uh, where the challenger... Uh, I'm going to give you the Shakur Stevenson, Jamel Herring example. Shakur was a champion at 26 for the WBO, used this status the same way Terrence Crawford is, uh, got the fight with Jamel Herring, and then went to the WBO and showed him, look, look at my last three gates. Look at my last three purses. He's the champion, but he ain't fucking with me. Can't Bud do the same thing? Because nobody truly believes that Fandora is a bigger draw. Hey, put it that way. We, that that particular fight, it was no choice for the champion. We have choice. That is the difference. We have. Okay. It, we have the rematch that it will sell very well and it sell out the place. And then we have uh, Spence. So it's totally different. We have options with the other champion he didn't have. That is a fact. That is very true. So you cannot compare apple with orange. But but your options uh, do... I mean, I you, think we're comparing red apples and green apples, if I'm being honest. But, Samson, your options do include alternative fights, meaning Fundora does have the option, but he would have to vacate the WBO. Unless, again, Louis could come up with a clever scenario. 
Uh, let me put it this way. The smartest man in boxing is Louis the Kid Jr. I can tell you that much because his school is, is, is a thinking, you know what I mean? He will come up with a solution. Definitely, Fundole doesn't want to lose the title. And he's he willing to fight uh, Crawford, but... Did you get a phone call? 50, okay. uh, yeah, I checked, I checked, I checked the, the, the night. If it, if it was 50-50, so maybe it could happen. But knowing the situation, I don't believe that it would happen because the eagle of Crawford, he want to have more. And on top of that, <laughs> you're right when you say that the three, how much he sold the three gates and that. So it can be 80, 20, 75, 25. It wouldn't happen. It would never happen. Now, what does Freddie. Because I will not allow to, to, to say to Fundora, you'll be making 25% and 75 for the challenger. Doesn't happen that. That so what, I can tell you. What, the, what never does Spence happen. get as a challenger who's coming off the loss? They would probably do 50 50, right? 50 50, correct. Because he's offering them the two belts. <laughs> Come on, Spence. We got to do better, man. I mean, but Danny says you got to do better. I don't understand. What don't you like about the 50 50? Yo, because, but I'm, if, if, I don't see how Spence is, is value. It has a higher value than he than, doesn't. Than. He's saying that Bud. I mean, that 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 Earl would be willing to take fifty and not be the A side. He's saying Crawford so, ain't gonna so want to do already 50. let that be known that he, he'd be Obvi willing to get the Obvi same thing Fedora's getting. Obviously, it's fifty fifty split. I mean, all he bringing is the fan base. You want the belts? Fedora bringing that. Nah, I hear you, but both guys bring a fan base. Like both guys are known. But ones, like... ones is a little more proven. That's just the bottom line. Earl's is, you know, we talking mm. Earl doing forty thousand a couple times. But Samson, yeah, uh, shifting gears. Are, are you guys good on that? Anything else you want to add on that before I shift gears? Because I do want to talk about the about my Dominican brethren, uh, Edwin De Los Santos. I hear he's back in camp. Um, have you gotten any updates with him on how he's looking, how he's feeling? Okay, let, let me let me finish first with the the, the Fondora case. Fondora and Sue, it was not nobody lose, both winners. He deserved the rematch. I will honor the rematch, and I leave everything to do the Cuba Junior to to work it out a way that everybody be happy. And too emotional to make everybody happy. And Crawford, you need to understand that regardless, that probably deserve more. You need to, if you want the glory, you need to be fair on the on the money and the split. And if it will not be, uh, you know, uh, uh, fair, it will not happen. That is the point. Samson. Final, now, final question well, on this Crawford situation. Uh, do you foresee uh, Crawford petitioning also to the WBC? Because they have the same right, and he's also the champion at 47. Can he try to, you know, lock you guys in by going to the Mauricio as well? Uh, look, Ma Mauricio, uh, this is what happens sometime in, in the sanction bodies. When, because... The WBO is if it's the same way, okay, you go to a first bid and we have 75, uh, 25 on favor of the challenger. Uh, I, I'm the champion, you know, we are the champion at WBC, so we can go to his bylaws that is the other way around 75, 25 for the champion. So that would be the issue, how to be. And it's not but a mandatory. If you, mandatory go, to the, if you go to the bylaws, it allows them to show what they've earned in their th in their most recent fights and try that, to adjust the uh the split from yeah, that samson i understand but but if Crawford he won the glory and to win the 54 the super uh, welterweight champion so he need to sacrifice his money and go for the glory and if he doesn't go for the glory so we have an issue and and, and by sacrifice I, I you, by sacrifice you, technically David David Benavides, he wants to go for the glory and he takes $5 million 
to fight Canelo that he will make 100 million or 150 million. He won only 5 million. That is the glory. And this one need to uh, learn yeah. Crawford. Okay, but, but the David glory, don't have the belt, though. But technically, as, as man, but Samson, because he's not an easy man. But technically speaking, Samson. you're telling him to take 50-50, not $5 million, not short money, just go 50-50. The same thing that you That's can correct. do with Earl. That's correct. All right. And 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 if he won the money, he will not get it. With the because it's a payday for him. Well, technically because again, at this moment, I don't believe you tell me now, because you're knowledgeable, both of you, which one he can give money now to Crawford in 154 pounds? Who? Give me a name. Who can give him money? Uh the only yeah. other promoter would be the uh, zone and and uh, fighting who? Masvidal fighting, fight, fight, and who knows that guy? Nobody. But that's the only so, other fight at fifty four. But but they will not. He will I not mean, get. I mean, if you talk talking money, I think I think Crawford makes more money fighting Zoo than he does Fedora. Off a loss, oh. with no belt in Australia for sure. Yeah. Wow. What do you think, Samson? No, no, because... If he goes with Zoo in Australia. Crawford, I, no belt. You, no, in, in Australia, it doesn't have the money. He will go to Saudi or he will do in Vegas. And he's right uh, that uh, probably he will make the same money oh, or Samson, more. But the not guy much you discovered in, had in to Vegas. go to Australia. No, he said you're right. The money. You didn't hear him. He said you're because probably right. Would, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because what he do is maybe the WO strip. Fundora and he gave it the title. That's all. To to that fight. That that is a possibility too. Mm. Mm. So so you know, I, I like to talk to you people because you're well educated. Even though you sometimes you make a mistake, like Nestor said that he, he will he will win the zoo, but you know. I did was think it was gonna be zoo. That's crazy, man. I did yeah. think it was gonna be zoo. I know. And, and you thought mm, that nobody expected Fondora to box the way he did. Yeah, because nobody how many times the elbow from hell either, you know. Well, it wasn't an elbow from hell. He he well, ran no, into I mean, that. It was he ran into that. It was accidental. It was I'm accidental. not saying I'm not saying it was intentional, but uh, nobody expected that. Nobody expected that. And, Samson, you know, Shinzu, I'm sorry, Mar uh, Marcos. Samson, so how likely? I know this is not your fighter, but you have a working relationship with PBC. How likely? And in how many years you think it would take to make Pitbull versus Matias so we could have one of those great Mexican Puerto Rican rivalries? I, I have no idea. It's not my fight. I have no idea. I don't look uh, the package of the other. Hmm. Wow. But anyway, passing to Edwin de los Santos is fighting on June 15. And I'm very, very proud of this kid. And, uh, and we're looking for a. a you know, after this fight, to be a mandatory and one of the sanctioned bodies. So we try to to bring in an elimination bout that uh, is well deserved for both guys. And he's fighting Rayo, right? That's correct. No catch weights or rehydrations because I know that Rayo had to suffer that in his last rematch with Colbert. I, I, no, I, I never, listen, I'm not Eddie Reynoso, please. Okay. That, you need to go by the rules. Whatever is the rules, there's nothing hiding in the contract when I do it. It's about agreement for Nevada. We not touch anything else. I don't give a, a Samsung boxing bout agreement that I can put any shit in over there. I, I will never do that. It's a bout agreement for Nevada. And, and in terms of Roman Villa, he's coming back in May? I mean, excuse me, June as well? Uh, uh, yes, God willing, because he well deserved it. He has the balls to face uh, Ennis and his other, you know. I, I You know, I, I, with Crawford going back, I don't want to go by Crawford, but Crawford doesn't want Ennis. You know why? Because Ennis is the best welterweight. But he's done with welterweight, Samson. He's not fighting anybody at welterweight. He, he can make the weight. Uh, <laughs> he, 
<laughs> no, Crawford is looking <laughs> for money because he believed the glory already have it. So now he wants to maximize his income. Let me That's ask all. you. Let me ask you. I mean, is Samson, it true? Two time undisputed is glory. Nobody else has done it. No man. Not yeah. No man. Canelo is glory too, but he doesn't want to fight the the, the real guys. You know what I mean? Is is you have a look? Most of the the boxer is fighting for money and few for the glory, because you get sometimes the glory and the money. And when it's only money or it's only glory, is Benavides that he want the glory, not the money. Samson and and Crawford is not an easy a boxer or person. He's very wealthy and very matchable, and the money the way I hear. So it doesn't need the money, but he, you know, sometimes the greed is bigger than the glory. Samson, uh, how real is the rumor that Crawford was offered Lubin, Charlo, and Ennis as a three fight deal for PBC after the rematch was? Uh, no longer on the table versus Earl. Is there any truth to that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's, no it, it, No one of those is my fighter, but I believe that he didn't sign with PBC, and that is the reason that uh, another reason that uh, it will not happen. And maybe if we fight uh, in that close, that I don't know what Luisito he will do, Louis the Cuba Jr. But whatever, uh, he will not handle it. Uh, you know the opportunity to to get the two belts for and and go to somebody else or be partnership. Mm. You know what I mean. So basically, like so basically, I, I, basically I, I, he I, gonna I, have to sign. Basically, he gonna have to sign because you ain't gonna let him get them two belts and go uh, as a free agent. Well, maybe maybe that'll help Boots too if he signed right. Uh, look, I I know any she have uh, now or if. Is the situation, uh, promotional, not promotional, managerial situation or promotional situation. I don't know if it's managing or promoter uh, with the late uh, uh, manager. Duncan. Also, Cameron Duncan, yeah. yeah he so was a promoter. It was, now, it was, it was promoter. now promotions or one promotion, something like that? I don't know. Look, uh, <clears throat> I believe it's by the... Uh, the Muhammad Ali act, you can never be a manager and promoter. But I, I always I know Duncan, may I rest in peace, is a is a manager. So you have two corporations. You need to get out of that contract. You know what I mean? And then uh, we can talk because now the, the best way for them is to go for a purse beat and and uh, whoever win it be the promoter of record and it have nothing to do with the other promoter, you know what I mean? Or management. Because whoever wins the first bid is the promoter for that fight for both fighters, you know? Even though he can camp somebody else and beat is the promoter for, for that fight for two fighters. And this is a fact. So, so it is, to me, is the best 47, the best Western way. And I believe it's better than Crawford. I mean, Crawford's not that, fighting that, that well to way. Crawford's not fighting that well to way, Samson. Be, you, you, you're trying to get Crawford to beat. You're right. trying to get Crawford beat. He's 36 years old going on 37. He can't make well to no more. Just like Earl fight week, he said, it's hard for me to make well to too. You want to see him beat. I see you, Samson. Well, you know, I, I like him because I saw him in the Hall of Fame and he was very nice with me. You know what I mean? But that's it. And in one point. So so why like, you want to get him beat? Because any fighter we mentioned that ain't your fighter, you say, I don't know. It's not my guy. But when it comes to boots, you waving the, the flag, Samson. Now nah, he likes boots. He sees the no, talent, boot, right? Boot, yeah, you know, but, you know, I have a special uh, care for boot because. As a screen it was, <laughs> No, no. I, I'm not the promoter. I'm not the manager. But, but I admire his way of fighting and Villa, he say that that it, it was unbelievable. That, you know, he recognized his defeat, but at the same time, he said that he that he want to follow up Ennis because he's one of the best fighters they ever saw. And 
you know, that is the reason that uh, I like him so much. And I believe it's the best uh, welterweight in the world. You think Barrios takes that fight or Crowley? Whoever takes the fight, he will lose. <laughs> Uh, any update on Nicholas Flas' opponent? Uh, he will fight in uh, most likely in June in uh, Provox TV. That is another network that he only could fight 50 50 fights. He was an underdog in that fight, by the way. So we see what, what is coming, but he will fight in June. We have a very good relation with uh, Gary Jonas and uh, we worked together and uh, we built like a show box disappeared. Now we have Provox TV and I wish everybody see Provox TV because it will see no names, but good fights. Uh, and when can we and, see more of the friends that you do business with use Provox for their fighters? Uh, you know, because there's a lot of PBC fighters that could use Pro Box to stay active. Well, I've given several uh, fights before that he fought in, in the, uh, with uh, PBC and he fought in, uh, in Pro Box TV. Some he wins, some he loses. Like, you know, it's 50 50. No, well, I meant in general other fighters that are act inactive, you know, are not necessarily yours, just PBC fighters that we would like to see. Get. Look, wh whoever, he want, whoever he want to come to Pro Box is one call away. If he doesn't go direct to uh, Gary Jonas or Chico Rivas, he can call me and, and I, I, I'm not making no money in that. I bring the fighters to have a good show and create a network that on Wednesday, with nobody do much, you can see good good boxing on Wednesday. It's beautiful. It's no competition. Samson. Uh, Daniel. Samson. Daniel. Daniel says hi. He's listening from Pro Box. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't want to make advertising for free, but he deserves it, Pro Box. I can tell you that much. Yeah, no, nah, I love what they're doing. I love what they're doing. Well, uh, I'm going to let you go, man. Th Wait, oh, no, oh, before oh. we let you go, you've always had the eye for talent. So many, uh, you know, world champions that you have discovered throughout your years. Who do we need to be on the lookout for? Who should we be uh, keeping an eye out for that you have recently discovered? Uh, um what I believe that uh, it really would be is Mirko Cuello from Argentina. One is uh, yeah, well, 146. Featherweight, featherweight. Mirko Cuello. Okay. Uh, he fought actually uh, last Saturday and he won. Uh, he's 14 yes, and in, in, in Vegas, right? In Vegas, he, in he Vegas, was yeah. on the early, early card. It's, okay, yes. That's correct. It's, it's an Olympian. And, you know, the people there you really see that the, these talents. So very soon you will see it in PVC, but in prime time. Awesome. So we'll when do we see an eye out? When do we see your other champion, Fondura's sister? Is she going to get a crack at, at, at a big name? Well, she wants to unify, but, uh, you know, it couldn't happen. We have a signed contract. To, to to fight for the you know four bells, but the champion he pull out. But I'm I'm involved with Golden Boy on that uh, with uh, Fundora because PBC is not you know through female fights. It will take time for that. Hopefully, very soon you will see a PBC a female fights too. Damn. No, no female fight. You need, you need a knockout puncher, man. You got to find us a knockout puncher. Well, that's what Dora is. <laughs> she, she won by knockout. Yeah, that is when true. When he fought for the title. That is true. But the, the problem that the, the, we have another issue with the three minutes and two minutes and I women's, know. you know. 
It's not. It's that we've been to the conventions. The 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 women aren't even on the same page. Some still want two. Some want three. Some only want three if the pay is right. It's just until they're not all gonna say we want three or we want two. It's gonna always be like this. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Very yeah. difficult. I mean, you were well, there. So you were in Mexico. You heard. Yeah. You know. You, you know, heard what I... they were saying. No, what, what happened is that uh, I'm, I'm totally agree with Mauricio Suleiman that it cannot be three minutes. And I say something uh, very profound that it be an advantage for the, the, the women that they have full time in boxing because over 80%, at least 80% of the female boxer is a mother that you need to take care of the children. Is a worker because he have enough doesn't have enough money. Is divorced. Is you know there's too many things involved that she cannot be a hundred percent in the gym. Now we have a fighters like Fundora, like Amanda Serrano that is full time, and many others that is full time in the twenty percent that is a hundred percent in the gym and training. So it's an advantage that it will take the three minutes. But Fundora. He doesn't want the, the, the three minutes. He wants to be fair with the mothers and the worker uh, females. You mean, Mauricio, Does it make sense? you mean Mauricio wants to be fair? No, no, no. Mauricio no. Is, He's saying no, that Mauricio Gabriella. Say, yeah, no, Mauricio said what the doctors say. I say what I feel, that 80% is a mother of workers. And the other 20%, he would take advantage because it's 100% in the gym, mm -hmm. it's full time. That is what I say. Mauricio, he go by the doctors, what the doctors say. That is not a, a, a correct in three minutes. So uh, I was corrected, and Fondora Gabriela obviously won her title last year. So, you know, Sebastian winning his title this year, it's two separate years. Do you still believe he can win fighter, uh, excuse me, trainer of the year, Freddie? It'd be shameful if he doesn't win. Shameful for everyone that he bought. So this up to, you know, I'm waiting for that. But definitely, deserve, and beside that, it's the first time in the history of boxing seen a female come to, to the, you know, to the scream that no one, sister and brother, on the same time is a champion. That is historical. It's the first one. Yeah. Uh, actually, didn't you say, Marcos, what was the last uh, female and uh, uh, brother-sister champ, Marcos? Didn't you say something yesterday? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Lou Del Val and his sister. Yeah, but they was not at the same time. They weren't champions. They weren't champs at the same time, no, but they were brother and no. sister champions. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he means, he means consecutively. He means consecutively. Oh, yeah. You know, sure. concurrently, excuse me, concurrently. But and listen, Samson, yeah. thank you uh, for coming on. I appreciate you as always and uh, wish you the best. Uh, shout out to you, Sebastian Fondora, Freddie, and the whole family and team, man. Keep doing your thing. Now you got two. David, three, excuse me, excuse me. No disrespect to Gabriela. You got David, you got uh, Sebastian, and, and Gabriela. Gabriela. Congratulations. Good weekend and for you. And very soon... Don't forget Edwin de los Santos. Yes. That it will be the next one. Remember that. Next champion. We need that, man. And by the way, and by the way, the other one is Luis de Twist Nunez. That is the next one, too. The Dominican with Santos? That is correct. But his no, fight no. did... And, 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 uh, Luis is fighting in a, a 126 way, but he would have a shot to the title this year. Remember what I told you. Put yeah, it but on didn't the his fight just get canceled? Yeah, but because I seen back. Bob, I seen Bob in Florida, and uh, he was telling me that that you know. Yeah. So when you getting v him back, Victor, Victor Morales, he got sick. Yeah. And he that was a good fight. fight. Can yeah, we reschedule that or what? Happened. Yeah. Till now, he's, he's not ready to fight. I don't know what is his uh, mm. health situation, but I guarantee you 
and write it down that Luis Nunez he will fight for a world title this year on the next fight. And with that, damn, say, on the next I fight, but he's you, been inactive for a bit. I know, but but it is it, it was not his form that for four months we have that fight done and 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 he be postponed twice. Hmm. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. Yo, don't forget Javier's okay, looking for you, man. He needs help with that Floyd Schofield fight. Who? Javier. Oh. No me lo dejen en el frío. <laughs> no, I'm not his promoter anymore. I, I know, I know. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Give him a call. He needs your help. I know, but thank God, the uh, Fundora, he did well with his money. He had like four houses plus he bought the house for his mother. Fortuna. And his Fortuna. And Fortuna. Fortuna means, yeah. Fortuna. My <laughs> wife is screaming Fortuna. My, my <laughs> wife loves Fortuna. Tell her we heard her. I love her. <laughs> She, she loved Fortuna, trust me. <laughs> because we have it when he was 18 years old, the whole career. But he managed his money so well, I'm so proud of him. But this time, you know, sometimes I feel like uh, I don't want to take a chance to get hurt by fighters. And when you, your fighters fight, you make money, like I did it with Maravilla Martinez. I told him to retire, and then he didn't listen to me, but I didn't... Uh, I didn't get in, involved with him on his, in his career after 40 years old. You know what I mean? Hmm. Good man, Samson. Good so, man. I'm just saying I get your uh, reason why you believe you don't want to deal with him. You, you know, you think it's it's he should be retired. But at the same time, he's he's obviously doesn't want to stay retired. So he needs your protection. <laughs> We we'll see, but listen. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Love you as always, man. You take care, and I love your shows. Appreciate it. Un abrazo. Okay. okay. Hello. Ahora I'm sí. here now. I, I like that guy Soriano. The way he scream. <laughs> I, I, I we put it in a in a festival. Maybe she can scream. Look, I I don't know. Maybe my English is not so good and. And sometimes I mix up the word, but what I'm saying that I will not allow Fundora to be the B side when you have two titles, regardless who it is. And you and okay. and you need to give him the honor, and you need to give him, you know, the the what you deserve is a champion. So when I say 50-50, is because I need to respect. It's a very tough fight. And maybe it will continue to be underdog against Spence, against Crawford. It will be the underdog. And it will prove one more time that he can he can come victorious. But and and on top of that, I say that Crawford is a very good fighter, but I like more Anison than him. And in when he was a 47 pounder and mandatory, he tried to avoid him. So that is a fact. But, but how is it but a fact, outside Samson, of the ring, Samson, that, Samson. That's the Soriano. Outside of the ring, it doesn't bring much to the table. Only in his hometown, but not in Vegas. And, that, you, you know, it's, it's tough to sell. That's all. But, but, oh, my God. What was I about to interject on Danny and he kept talking? How does it hit something? Yeah, he ducked Ennis. Yeah, how do you duck someone if you're not it fighting at that weight? No, because it was before he had an issue. Because it's a mandatory for the past year. He was an interim champion. No, no, Samson, you getting it all mixed up. Let me help you, my, my dear friend. That is Earl Spence's mandatory. Crawford took his belt. And on that day, he never fought on welterweight after that day that he took the belt. That's, that's Earl Spence's mandatory. I know, mandatory. But, he avoid, but he avoid any before that. How? Like, like, because he was the mandatory for him. Then he got the full championship fight. No. Because he didn't want to face him. No. Anyway. No. Listen, and he had a so, rematch clause with Earl Spence. How could you avoid uh, Ennis if you... May, may, I say, may, may I say something that is logical? We have Canelo, that is his own promoter. 
We have the best of the best Mayweather, that he was his own promoter. And now Crawford, he wants to be his own promoter, but doesn't have probably the team behind him like he had with Canelo and like he had uh, in that time Mayweather. He had a very good team. He doesn't sell himself. He doesn't sell when he accuses a promoter like Bob Aron to be racial. I know Bob, I have an issue. I went to court with him, but I give him the most respect because I know he doesn't have a hair of uh, discrimination with anyone. And I went to court with him. And I do in business with him because he's a, he's, to be he, clear, he, to be clear, never, to never, be clear, to be clear, you went to court with him that one time they tried to steal David Benavidez from you, right? That's correct. That's correct. But I have no bad feeling because when he saw that my contract was good enough, is and beside that, immediately uh, David to be clear, Benavides, is it Jerry? He, he gave the, the check back that it was two hundred and fifty thousand. I say, hey, you go. Bob, this is the 250 that you give me. Eddie got this back, and I go back to Samson. I make a mistake. That's Wait, all. So, Samson, to, to be clear, that, that good contract you had, was that uh, Leon Margolis that did it? That's correct. Wow. Shout out to Leon. He's one of the best lawyers in town, I can tell you that much. Or one of the best, not to say something. But you have some monkey guys that uh, you want to be lawyers, and, and you destroy the career of the fighters. You know, so, but uh, Leo Margot is one of the best. However, the point is that uh, Crawford, he will not sell as much as the rematch, and he will not sell as much uh, as um, Spence. So that is the reason that it's not 50-50, it would not happen. But how, how do we know these things? Like, how do we know that Crawford hasn't gotten bigger since beating Earl because Spence Jr.? Soriano doesn't understand that the WBO, the bylaws only of the WBO, only in the WBO, for many, many decades, that he say that depending of the three plus five, and then he come up with the number, of the mandatory, uh, uh, if it's the champion or not, or the challenger. So if you do that, definitely it'd be 75-25 on favor of uh, Crawford because he make much more money than Fundora. Now, if if this is the law, it will, we, not, we will not go to a purse bid or we make a deal before the purse bid or there's no fight because I will not allow when he's, this is another, another thing that I want to clarify. The WBO have that rules only for the WBO, but you have two titles. So you're not supposed to have that, uh, uh, that act, uh, that bylaw, because it's two titles on the line. The WBC is 75 25 for the champion, regardless who it is. So now it will not be in agreement because Sancho and Barry sometimes fight each other. So it's very simple. If Crawford won the fight, you need to go for the glory and split 50-50. The champion, he will walk second, he'll be announced second, and you need to give him the honor to the champion, regardless of his background. Now, if he doesn't want that, to respect the champion, it wouldn't happen. But technically, yeah, you don't know, know that because, do. because maybe Louis de Cubas does let him walk second, right? Just to get it done. That is, look, it, it, but you need to have the respect for the champion, that you need to be at least 50-50. I will not take 51-49 because both fighters deserve to share the cake. Let's cut it in the middle. And if he's greedy sure. and he wants to eat the whole, the whole cake, he will not eat the cake. He will go to the mandatory, no. which I don't know who will be, Josh but Kelly. he will not make any of that money. So you would rather fight the but Josh you, Kelly? You know, not you. You're Sanchez, not listening. Sometimes. He's not saying. He said Crawford would have to fight Josh Kelly because he's oh, going to so, drop so the belt. Well, I'm asking. Go ahead, Danny. You know, I, I was going to say, Santa, you know, sometimes when you cut it down the middle, like, you know, it ain't really even. So it's like down the middle, but it's still like, you know. 55-45, but that's a lot of cake, Samson. You know, they no, can no. eat a no, lot, no. you know? Look, you you have a, a, a you have two bells, and that two bells, regardless, it's worth 
And I'm as a promoter, I need to give him the best income to my fighter. And I believe is if it was only for the WBO, he gets screwed, my fighter, because he will be, even though he's a champion, he'd be probably uh, I don't know if it be 60 40 or 70 30 or whatever it may be, but the, because so you have me, only one title now, you have two titles. Let, now, with the two let titles, me ask you, you something if, if, if Crawford or Spence say, I'm not doing 50 50, and you walk away and you fight somebody else, those fights will for sure be uh, way less money than a Crawford or Spence fight. Marcos, so he way, already made of, it clear that Spence is taking 50 50. He Spence made, is. That's what he made okay. clear. Okay. But I guess I was just saying in a hypothetical. It, 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 no, no. Let me tell you. I believe it will sell more the rematch than either fight. How about that? i like to see it again. Which and whoever saw it, 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 that's correct. And let me tell you. Now when we start to show the blood on the advertising for the next fight, people will love to see it again. So what, you think Better a zoo fight anyone. could generate more income than a Much potential more. Spence or Crawford fight? That's correct. It will sell out in one hour. Okay. So Samson, and, what and, have and, you? On team what have you heard? Is 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 Amazon Prime happy with the results in terms of pay per view buys yet? When do we know? Oh, that that it will take a week at least. Mm. But beside that, Amazon, the executive. He was so happy, you know, <laughs> because he was probably the, the best shows for years, that including PVC. That's great. And, 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 so is, is there a, and he was is there a deal in place for more Amazon fights on Prime? Oh, this, this is not up to me, this PVC. <laughs> but I guarantee okay. you that a show like that, a prime time, he will love prime video. He will love yeah. to have that uh, uh, one again. And you know what? That is forced the PVC to put real fights more like before. Even though it yeah, was the, much better than the others, you know. Yeah, and the production was, was done well, being it's their first, at least Amazon Prime's first boxing. It was, you know, it was all, it went all very smoothly. So that was great. Yeah. So, and, and people don't understand, especially Soriano. Well, well, that well that's great. not true. Actually, actually, the undercard was not available on the YouTube channel at all um, for the entire two hour undercard stream. So, and they made yeah. the mistake of calling you Dennis Urgas, the former champion, uh, Zach Judah. Judah. But then, you know, those are small <laughs> bumps in a row, nothing major. Yeah, well, look, look. <laughs> Don't be, it's the first uh, event, so let's see the next one and the next one. And another thing. They did hire uh, a lot of when the I, former When Benavides is so. on the undercard, let me tell you, when Benavides, I, I offer him the undercard with it, uh, to Davis. make a really good fight, Tank Davis, he's a humble man. That's right, like he should be. He have no ego. He's None. smart. Because smart. It, it, it will sell much more and benefit Tank on that on, on that event because the pay per view is belong to Tank, not belong to to Benavides. It will make good money anyway, but it, it's not part of the pay per view. The pay per view only be Tank and, Mar and, and Martin and Martin well. and Martin. Oh, this, I, I love it. <laughs> that that would be a champion. But no, the point is, no, 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 no. I mean, Ann Martin will get pay per view back in, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. But what I'm saying, do what you, I'm saying that. That's uh, not your fighter, but that, do you want to confirm that he's allegedly getting $5 back in per pay per view? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, this, no, no, he will not get money from the pay per view. He'll be there in the car, most likely. You know, he'll be on the undercar. No, 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 you're confusing, you're confused. I'm talking about Frank Martin, he's going to get pay-per-view back. Oh, you're talking about Frank Martin, I'm sorry, I thought uh, you're talking about uh, Morton, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I imagine, yes, I, I, again, I, I'll make the deals. Yeah. 
It's not my so, fight. So you're confirming, know. you're not confirming, you're imagining the Molten will also be back. Kermel Molten will also be back. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And, and Frank Martin, he, he, he must have a good deal to be there. So I don't know what would be the deal, but remember, PBC, we are promoters, but PBC is the one that they make the final decisions, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the mm -hmm. network. But I, I, but the reason that I go back to Benavides is because he was humble and he understand the business. Like if I say to Crawford, you be the in the undercard, he would not take it. Mm. <laughs> he was, so, you know what I mean? This, this is what I'm saying. That is different kind but of will Earl, mentality. Will Earl be an undercard at this point? No, I only need to be a main event. And maybe you ask Earl to be. Let's say Earl versus uh, uh, Fundora on the undercard of Job Law. I'm pretty sure that he will take it because he's a businessman too, and doesn't have the ego that he have Crawford. You turn to Crawford, he's being insult, and he being insult for him to be. I feel like side. some of the things you're saying are an insult. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Samson. <laughs> Samson, Listen. like you're sitting on Crawford so bad, like no, because you don't even no, know I, these you know what? things. You're just assuming. No, no, let, let me put this. Way. No, no, I, I, I meet Crawford in the Hall of Fame. He was very nice with me and everything, but at the same time, I feel that it be unfair. That that is not what I hear. I know it's a fact that he want to be the A side, and it will not happen. Is a challenger, regardless of his background. Is a challenger that he want to get two two belts, and he need to come for the glory if he want the fight. It's very simple. If Benavides, if, what do you think about Benavides that he have the WBC title in in 168? He going to 75. Let's say that he fight the winner of a, a big ball and and. A, Help me up with Bola and Maraville. Uh, he'd be the B side. And you think he care? He won for the glory. He would not care for that. And probably sell what's, more like the ball. Benavides will sell boxing? more like the ball. Belts but don't it, it would automatically be mean that you're would, the A side. Bro, yeah, stop but, cutting them but, off, Marco. Yeah, but Benavides, he would be the B side and he'd be happy for the glory. Like you want to be the B side with Canelo, you want to be the B side for glory, and and Crawford he would not take that. He believed that if he's a challenger and he deserves to be the A side, and it would not happen because you, mean, you need to respect the champion. You mean he's the champion and 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 deserves the A side? You keep calling him challenger, Marco. Go ahead. No, no, no he's a I challenger for the one fifty four. Go ahead, Samson. You want? Were you saying something? Yeah, no, because uh, Crawford would be the challenger for 154 for the super welterweight. He's not the champion. And okay. beside that, yeah, and beside that, you give me, you know, he's still the champion is a welterweight. Why doesn't give up the title? Can, can, can somebody tell me why he doesn't give up? Leverage. He's trying to game. use his champion status to to negotiate Leverage. and obviously enforce it at the division. Yeah, I, and he frees the and he frees the division. Uh, that is you... not fair for the Irish. <laughs> but, what I was He's, saying this was this is business, Samson. You are doing the same thing. You you're mm -hmm. gonna hold those two titles until Crawford makes the right decision. If he doesn't, you're gonna vacate the WBO. So it's all business. We all do it. Fuck. Boxing yeah, is martial yeah, but, law. But, uh, but if, if you say he cannot make Walter Way again, why you keep the title? In case of the in title. Case because, Fondora, because in case as Fondora. champion as champion at welterweight, he is able to use his champion status to enforce it for the mandatory that he is currently doing with your fighter, Sebastian Fondora. If he who, who if he that? doesn't have that belt, Sam, it, 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 he can no, enforce no, that only, mandatory. Uh, I believe that uh, that you can be the mandatory automatic when you decide to give up the the the, the title belt. like in this case the welter welterweight and you go to super welterweight you, you, you have the right to be the mandatory 
doesn't help him if he if he keep the the welterweight because you need to make a decision supposedly after five days if you want to go back to welterweight or you want to go super middle a super welterweight so the point is that he doesn't give up the title. Why? Why he stop and freeze the other fighters that he deserves to be a champion? And now he frozen. Because if he fight, and this happened, he'd be in November, most likely. He would not be before that. Because September... Yeah, because he be wants to have fight. that deal in place, right? Because if, let's say you tell him, oh, November, may, maybe he does decide what's happened in that welterweight. Maybe he don't want no, to wait because. To- no, because if let's say that uh, we 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 don't make a deal, he will keep the WBO and 54. He will give him the right to fight for the vacant title, which he will not be the same. And trust me, he w- the only one to make money, if he want to make money, maybe fight uh, Sue for the vacant title, because Sue deserve it anyway. So then maybe he will make money, but not in America. Remember. Sebastian Fundora is a special guy. He's a Mexican. He's a Cuban, but he's born in Florida. And he's one of the nicest boxers that I believe the, the next one. There's not too many that, like him that, that have no issues it. with the law, that he's a family man, that is is, is is a humble boxer. He's totally different and many champions. Big mouth, you know, it's not. It's a humble, and people love him. And that is the reason he deserves to be respectable for him and, and give him the shot to defend his title, but to be equal or better. Oh. Danny. You didn't like what I say, maybe. <laughs> nah, I lost my train of thought, Samson. You're good. I was just thinking no, sometimes, it, though, humble and nice doesn't necessarily translate to being more popular and more more ticket pay per view buys, right? No, but but happened to be these years, you never saw a humble fighter like like Fundora, and that is is a fact. So That's that true. is different. That remember now, Amazon. It will bring new generation of people that watch the fight and doesn't understand that how champion he have an issue with the law and he's still a champion. That uh, you know things that out of the ring he do bad things and people love him because he hate him what he did and because he love him. That is not the case with Fundora. Fundora and and is uh, and Gabriela Fundora this. Such a wonderful family, such a wonderful uh, boxer, so humble that people like that. The family matter that doesn't happen often in, in boxing. That is so too. Are you guys done there? No more for Samson? I got a bunch of callers I got to get back to, I'm, Samson. Yeah, I'm just curious. Samson, uh, is it fair to say Terrence Crawford is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world? I believe in no way is the one, but this ESPN. In our way, in our way, right. the Japanese fighter you deserve it, but it's my personal opinion. I respect it. So Sense, listen, thank no, you very much. No, now no, I no, espere, no espere ni rosa ni rosa ni flores de de, de Crawford, oíste? <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, English, for favor. <laughs> All right. I, I, you know what? I enjoy so much. I was doing a, a stuff because I, I plan to send a very shortly a press release. And I was listening to you from time to time, not the full time. And I enjoy it so much. I really congratulate you. Appreciate you, you Samson. And, and, and all that, including everyone of whoever talks. Sometimes he makes the point. You know what I mean? It's not well educated or it's you guys. <laughs> In boxing, but that's probably me. You know, sometimes it's uh, you know the way the cursing and all that. But at the end of the day, it's a great show, and I congratulate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, there you have it, ladies Thanks. and gentlemen. Sam 